now to whether the Fed raises rates. Remember, they borrowed all this cheap money when it was cheap in dollars. The Fed raises rates, the value of the dollar goes up, and these currencies that are crashing, they crash even harder. Yeah. Because they have to pay back their loans also in dollars. And their currencies are being devalued. And then there's another end to the story that makes it worse. In order to stop inflation from running rampant, it's now down hitting about 10%, for example, in Brazil. And of course, name the countries, Venezuela, Chile, all these countries that are resource rich, Niger, Nigeria, Algeria, on and on. And a lot of them have no other economies and they're run by corrupt governments, barely holding together. Now, because their currencies are collapsing and it costs them more money to buy all these imported goods, inflation goes up. So they have to raise their interest rates to keep their currencies from collapsing. And that raises borrowing costs. And you need to borrow money when businesses are going bust because you're trying to rebuild the economy. So by <laughs> them keeping these interest rates at these phony levels, and they have not mm. raised interest rates in the United States since 2006, mm -hmm. they created this bubble. And then, by the way, people say, well, you know, Salenta, you've said this before. Yeah, you're right. I said it before. In my wildest dreams, I never thought a bunch of crooks would be able to take over the country, give us zero interest rate policy that shifts every pensioner, every retiree, every person that wants to put their money in a bank and get interest on it that you don't get anymore. And I never in my wildest dreams would have come up with a concept like quantitative easing and it's worldwide. They got another name for it over there in Japan. How about Abenomics, Drogenomics? What's <laughs> keeping the Chinese markets up? The, the tons of yuan that they're dumping into the system. Just to put this into perspective, when China joined the World Trade Organization, and you mentioned before 9-11, that's right. It came in two weeks later when no one was watching to give them the nice, dirty deal that Slick Willie Clinton laid out for them with NAFTA. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and you folks out there that voted for Obama, you remember when he was candidate Obama up in the Rust Belt states and said, folks, I'm going to revisit NAFTA. This is an unjust law that's now giving us the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Anyway, going yes, back. That's, uh, were, that's a whole story that's going to be coming up. And of course, they're not going to be talking about that at the debates either, are they, Gerald? Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. We're talking about how retirees are completely getting screwed with this situation of no interest rates. That truly is amazing to me because you and I are both old enough to remember when there were usury laws in the United States. They could not charge people more than 10 percent, but they actually did pay people interest at the same time. Look at their interest spread now. They're, they're getting their money for 0 percent. They're paying out 0 percent to anybody that saves with them. But if you got a credit card or something like that, 15, 25, 50 percent interest rate, these people are criminal loan sharks. So going back and looking at the whole story, and I mentioned when China joined the World Trade Organization, their debt level is $2 trillion. So I'm talking about this Ponzi scheme that's its used bubble now. It's now up to $28 trillion. $28 trillion, and we're watching the markets collapse in front of us. Mm. Yes. They have a national team that goes in in the last few minutes and pumps up the market. You look at the charts. The last couple of minutes, the last hour, the, the Shanghai index goes back up. It's down the whole day. So going back to the whole story, it's exactly what you summed up. The usury laws, they've sold us out. They're, they, so whether the Fed raises interest rates or not, if they don't raise them, the Ponzi scheme continues a little more. If they do raise them a little bit, it starts unraveling all of these emerging markets mm -hmm. where money's being sucked out of them in rapid level as we speak. Now you put another layer on top of it, social unrest. We were talking about refugee problems in Europe. How about all the people fleeing out of 
sub-Sahara and Africa where their economies are collapsing and they're looking for work. Wow. So when all else fails, they take you to war. That's where it's going. That's where it's going when this bubble bursts. And, of course, you're talking about the emerging markets, but what we look at is a stock market, the fact that it's a Ponzi scheme. There's going to be a race for the exit once people, once they just raise interest rates a little bit, people are going to say, all right, that they're, they're going to end the Ponzi scheme. It's starting to unravel. Like you point out, it's going to be a race for the exit. I could talk to you all day, Gerald. I wish we had more time, but we've got a break at the top of the hour. Thank you so much for joining us on this Money Bomb. Uh, you've been a valuable part, a valuable asset for us to get information from through the years here at InfoWars. Thank you so much. Uh, again, Gerald Salenti, Trends Journal. And he has Occupy Peace that is going to begin. Is it, It's tomorrow, right? Is that correct? When the it's conference tomorrow, begins? tomorrow, and the big rally is on Sunday, so please be here. Yes, very important. We need to work ourselves for freedom. We can do it ourselves. We don't need to have some politician do it for us. Thank you so much for joining us, Gerald Salenti. And again, we're going to be taking a break and we're going to have uh, Leanne McAdoo and uh, Jakari Jackson are going to be doing the next hour. This is 28 hours of the InfoWars 2015 Money Bomb. We have free shipping on everything at the store. This hour, we have had a discount on Prostagard, 20% off. We can extend that for about another five minutes. If you want to lock in that price, we'll extend that 20% off of Prostagard. Look at what we have at the InfoWars store. We've got 20% off of things like Survival Shield X2, Super Male Vitality, Brain Force, Silver Bullet. If you want to just make a donation to help us to get to this next level with the satellite broadcasting system, that's 888-253-3139. Again, 888-253. 253139. Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo are going to be coming in. And we are going to also have live coverage of the Celebrity Big Brother debates from CNN tonight. We're going to have analysis and commentary live as it happens. You can watch it here. We'll be right back. I don't need to tell station owners, managers, and program directors that the American people are more upset and more politically awake than they've ever been. That's why Donald Trump, even if you love him or hate him, is so popular. Because he's not reading off a teleprompter, he's not mincing words. And that's the reason that InfoWars and my syndicated radio broadcast over the last 20 years has exponentially grown. We now reach, not just in the United States, but across the world, 20 million people at least every single week. And in 2015 and 2016, I want to double that number to 40 million people, promoting a message of basic liberty and freedom that made this republic, the United States of America, the model of a free and prosperous nation worldwide. I'm a libertarian broadcaster. I wear my bias to tell the truth and to promote free market entrepreneurial liberty on my sleeve. Let me share with you another key point. InfoWars has a giant grassroots audience in every town and city in this nation. And they will loyally tune in to your broadcast or to your cable channel and will tell their neighborhoods, their co-workers, their friends and families about the broadcast. And so will we. We intend to promote channels that we're on on a daily basis so we can push our giant internet AM and FM audience to your local TV station. In closing, let me tell you why I'm doing this. I already do four hours of radio a day. I already have internet online news. I already have websites that dominate not just alternative media, but mainstream media. Why would I want to then launch the next level and put this programming on satellite? It's because it's my responsibility. I must, like my forebearers did, like your forebearers did, reach out, trailblaze, expand, and defend this republic. I don't want to be, to quote Braveheart, many years from now, lying at home in my bed, wishing that I would have taken action against the unraveling of our freedoms. I'm making a stand. And I know that many station owners, managers, and program directors care about this country as well and want to shake up the dialogue and get people talking to create a grassroots movement of liberals and conservatives and libertarians to come together and celebrate America and what made us great again. That's why I'm really doing this, because it's my responsibility, but also because I got a file in there of over 100 cable channels that have contacted me the last few years saying, please put it on satellite, 
please close caption it, please package it so we can carry it. And just since we turned on the satellite a few weeks ago, we already have more than 10 affiliates that are carrying the show. Three cable systems and seven UHF VHF stations. One of them is on basic cable and is a decades old news and information channel in Houston and they're getting a great response. Yes, the feedback that I hear is of course it's refreshing for the simple reason it is totally different. And again, as I stated, uh, they get they get a perspective from InfoWars that they do not get anywhere else. And for that, it's a very popular show on our network, or a very popular channel, I should say, because it's a 24-hour channel on our network. And it has a tremendous effect because people can't get this type of information from any of our other 250, 300 channels that we carry on our network. It should be on everybody's cable television network. Pick up InfoWars today. Whether you carry it on the weekend for two hours or whether you carry our entire lineup, we welcome you to visit InfoWars.com forward slash affiliates or to call the phone number on the site and one of our representatives from the InfoWars News Center in Austin, Texas will get back with you. InfoWars Live, the four-hour radio slash TV show, is absolutely free to air, and so is InfoWars Nightly News. You're even free to take excerpts of it for your own news programming. It's absolutely free to air. All we ask is that you not edit the pieces themselves. So you can take it in part or in whole, whatever you want. We just simply want to get the word out to the people and are very appreciative for you taking out the time to look at this information. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream media, never questioning what you are being told. This gives you a false sense of reality. I mean, do you actually know what you think you know? Or have you been programmed to accept someone else's version of events? Think about it. This is Darren McBreen, and I want you to break the matrix at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv and listen to The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on your mind.